I'm in S3. So, when I join Senior 1, mm. actually, no, before joining Senior 1, I used to faint from home. Mm. Like fainting, even from school when I was still in primary, I used to faint. Mm. But no, like my family members, they used to say, over oh, that is Asima, what, what. Mm. So it was just like that. Then joining Senior 1, mm. one day it was a Friday. And it was afternoon, after lunch. Mm. We were inside the class. Mm. Like students were preparing for debate. Mm. Then me, I was sitting on the, like, on the desk. Mm. Then I started feeling dizzy and my tears were flowing. Mm. Then some of my friends came and they were like, hey, why are you crying? I told them I'm not crying and they told me, no, you're crying. So they went on calling others, what, what, she's crying, what, then. Mm. Now, like, students were there shouting, but they want to go and call director. Mm. And I decided to get out of the class. Mm. So when I get up, I move like four steps. Mm. But from there, I don't remember what happened. Mm. Yeah, I move like four steps. Then I just found myself down, like I fell down. Which year was that one? Yeah. Which year was that one? If you remember. The year. Mm. It was 2018. 2018. Yeah. Okay. Then, from there, they took me to a sick bay. Mm. I woke up, I found myself there, and I found a lot of rosary like students were praying. Mm. No, I even asked them what's the problem. Like, I asked them what happened. <coughs> mm. And they told me that for you, you get, after getting out, you fell down and you started like shouting, saying a lot of words. Mm. Then I was like, what were the words that I was saying? <coughs> Mm. They told me that I was calling someone's name, mm. and I was saying, and I was saying that that time has that time has come for them to take me. Mm. Yeah, I will not rest until I give them what they want. What what a lot of words. Mm. Then I was like, ah, it's okay. Then they called my uncle. He came and picked me from school. I went back home. Mm. It was Friday. I found when they were from home, they were praying. Mm. Okay, they were praying rosary. Mm. Then I was like, no, they asked me what happened. I tried explaining what I know. And some of them were saying, for you like pretending, what, what. Mm. Then I was like, it's okay. If it is pretending, let me just go back to school because there is no need for me to stay at home if I'm pretending. Mm. So. I went back to school that very day. Reaching school, I mm. stayed. I stayed like for some two days mm. and I was in debt. So, uh, one day again, I was sleeping. Mm. No, at first I was feeling dizzy in the class. Then I decided to go and sleep in the dorm mm. in one of my friend's bed. Mm. Then when I was sleeping, I saw some man, and a man was coming, mm. and I started calling him that, you first stop, first stop, I even don't know the man, mm. and the man was not stopping. I told him, you stop, the man was not stopping. Then I was like, it's okay if you don't want to stop, you go. Mm. And the man was like, do you want my help? Then I was like, no, I don't want, you can now go. And he went. Mm. Then I woke up. When I woke up, I found even a certain man standing where I was sleeping. Mm. Then I asked him, who are you? And he told me that, just wait, time will tell. Mm. That's what he told me. <laughs> then I wasn't even scared. I just woke up, then I went to class. Mm. I sat there, but I was overthinking about that man. So mm. I decided to go back to dorm and see if I would still find that man. Mm. So I went back. Reaching there, there was no one. Mm. Then I was like, 
Eh, then I told some of my friends, mm. and they were like, "No, charity, that's not true. You are only what thinking, what what." Mm. Then I was like, "It's okay." Then I stayed. I stayed. So, do things continue mm. disturbing mm. me? They continue disturbing mm. me. Mm. So from there, I. So those demons, they continue disturbing me like that, falling down and like shouting, saying their words. So one day again, I went to, cause for me I was a born again, but mm -hmm. I used not to pray. Yeah. I I used to pray, but it reached some time whereby they stopped me not to go to church. So who stopped you? my family members your family members yeah mm. they told me that there's no need for me to go to church for me what what they're tired of my god that they can't see what what mm. then i was like it's okay mm. so now one day it was a sunday mm. i went to okay we used to pray from school mm. i went to pray among the scripture union so mm. i went to pray there we really pray they really pray and pray and pray then from there i just found myself like i was feeling dizzy i wasn't understanding myself i decided to get out of the class mm. of the yeah i decided to get out i wanted to get out and there's a certain girl she was like no you stop there don't go anywhere mm. i told her no i want to go not where are you going I told her that I'm not feeling well, let me first go and sleep. And she was like, no, you're not going. Mm. Yeah, then I went and sat down. I sat there, yeah, they prayed, they prayed, they prayed. And from there, again, the demons, they come and they started disturbing me like that. Mm. And they really pray. And they used to pray, but now I don't know whether it was because I don't pray for myself. Yeah. I don't know. So it was just like that. I come home, they disturb me just like that. From home, they just look at me. Yeah. yeah. Sometimes if I'm feeling this, I just go to the room and I lock myself. Yeah. And from for them, they will be saying, if she's tired, she will get out. Let her be there. Yeah. Just like that. So they really pray and pray and pray for me. Then. Uh, from school again director started saying mm. he's tired of me that you do what you chase me away from school mm. because of those demons that thing is spoiling the name of the school what what mm. yeah. then I was like it's so so fine and he started stopping those scripture union that they should stop praying mm. yeah because that thing to spoil the name of the school what what a lot of things mm. so even me, i was like it's okay i told them to stop praying for me and we went to no again i went back home mm. for holidays i stayed there they were just disturbing me like that mm. i even never went to charge mm. then 2019 that's when I went back to school again. Mm. When I went back to school, the first day that I reached school, mm. I was in boarding that time. The first, the first day that I reached school, I dreamed that when I was entering school, mm. some two ladies came and they were having wings. Mm. And they were like, no, me, I was standing in front of the gate. I wanted to enter school. Mm. And I saw them. Then I was like, who are you? And they told me that there's no need for that. Time will tell. Then I was like, time will tell? Again? Even the other man last time told me that time will tell. Mm. Then I told them, uh -uh, you opened the gate. May I want to enter? Mm. And they were like, just remember that time will tell. Then I told them that it's okay. 
then I entered the gate. In the morning I woke up, I stayed, I never told anyone. Mm. Again I stayed like for some three days, again I dreamed that some two men again they came and they were having horns. Mm. When they came for me I was standing with some girl, she's called Sophie, mm. so I was standing with her. So they came and they were like, ladies how are you, then we turned to them. Mm. When we saw them they were having horns. Then we started screaming, calling director, 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 and director came. But when he was coming, he was moving backward. Mm. Then we were like, director, this is not a joking matter, and he was laughing. And we were like, director, this is not a joking matter, you first turn back to us, you first turn and you see us. Mm. Then when he turned, the face was not for human being, it was like for a monster, we were not understanding the face very well. Mm. But it was in his face. Then we were like, director, you first turn this side, he turned, and the face was very different. Then we started shouting, we went and called some of our friends, we went and called a student, they came. When they came, those people were like, they all turned back to a real human being. What, what now? Students started shouting at, at us, that why did you call us? What, what? Mm. And the director was like, even me. They called me, but I don't know what they're calling me for. Mm. Then I was like, e -e. we just left like that. Mm. So I told some two girls, we used to pray with them, mm -hmm. and they told me that I should pray. Mm -hmm. The following day I dreamed that we were fetching water in the bar hall, mm -hmm. and then the director came and was having a knife and a panga. He was mm -hmm. chasing us chasing us we were running and then we went up we went up on top of the mountain mm. then we were supposed to cut somebody's neck some girl mm. then for the, the sister she's called patricia mm. the sister shouted that director i've seen you then he threw the pang mm. then i just woke up again i sleep that very same night I started dreaming that again we were fetching water mm. in that very same bar hall and some the other girl, the one I was standing with at first, Sophie, mm. and I dreamed that I was there with Sophie, some other girls were washing clothes. Mm. Then Sophie, me I was standing with Sophie mm. and then the director came, the hand was like this at the back, mm. Kumba was having a knife, then he came. And it was like, Sarah, first see me. And Sarah, Sarah was like, yes. And then Sarah went to the director. Then he picked the knife from the back like this. Mm. Then I was like, Sarah, you first see the director is having a knife. Mm. Kumbe was also having a pang. I was mm. like, Sarah, you first see the director is having a knife. And now Sarah, he wanted to shout like this. The director cut here with the pang at the neck, mm. but it was very small. Mm. Then for us, we started what? We started crying and shouting. Again, the director went to, to Sophia. Mm. That Sophia, it is your turn. And even cut Sophia's stomach, very small, but Sarah died. Mm. And Sophia, we were removing some flowers, the leaves, like we were putting it in the wound, what, what? Like we were trying to treat her, then she never died, but Sarah died, but mm. Sarah died, but Sophie, she never died. Then I woke up, I told Sarah that Sarah, I told, no, Sophie, I mean, I called Sophie at night and I told him, Sophie, I told her, Sophie, this is what I'm dreaming about you, this and that. Mm. And she was like, even me, I'm confused. This is what I dreamed. She told me that she dreamed that. There is some two ladies and two men, they came and they were like, they, want, they were like, they are registering the name of students who are supposed to go underwater and her name was the first, mm. but my name was not there. Then those people were saying one person is missing, but they don't know who is that. Mm. So like she never finished that dream, I came and I woke her up. Mm. So I told those members of Scripture Union, they pray. And 
then the leader the leader of the scripture union mm. called a certain pastor mm. the pastor yeah the, yeah he called a certain pastor from Christ church mm. and the pastor came is called Alex he, he came and pray for us he pray he pray he pray then everything was fine after mm. I was really very fine mm. yeah I was very fine so that was the end of the things that was happening from school mm. but again reaching home mm. when i reached home wanda was sleeping under a certain mango tree mm. then when i was sleeping i woke up the, my a certain auntie of mine came and woke me up mm. that we should first go and do i should first go and boil for her eggs mm. then i went and boiled her eggs and then i slept uh, no, I gave her, then I went back to sleep. Mm -hmm. Then when I reached there, when I when I was sleeping, mm -hmm. no, I wasn't even sleeping. I've just closed my eyes. Mm -hmm. Then I saw, I saw my auntie coming back to me. Mm -hmm. Then me, I thought I was like, I thought I was seeing like for real. Mm -hmm. She was like, you first come and escort me. And we went. I went with her. Come mm back. -hmm. I was just dreaming that mm. you first come and escort me. I went with her to escort her and reaching somewhere, I found a very big dam and she was like, I, I want to, I want to push you in this dam. Mm. And I was like, hey, auntie pushing me, why? Like, don't you know how to swim? Then I was like, no, I don't know. Mm. And I told her, uh -uh, you don't push me for me. I will shout. And she was like, even if you to shout, no one will help me. No one will help you here. Mm. Then I was like, no, if you want, don't push me. Let me go alone. Mm. And she was like, yes, you go. Mm. Now me, I wanted to enter like this. Mm. A certain fish jump up mm. from the water. The fish jump up. Then I was like, no, auntie, there's something in the water. Mm. And she was like, no, you just go and enter. I told her for me I would shout and I was shouting for real everyone were listening to me those who were sitting like next to me mm -hmm. where I was sleeping and they woke me up before jumping in the water mm -hmm. and they woke me up and they were like who am I talking to what what why are you shouting mm -hmm. I never told them anything then from there again I stayed those demons they use I used to fall but mm. was only fainting mm. I could faint like for two hours mm. then I wake up like that like that again one day I dreamed that I was swimming in some water mm. when I was swimming there was two there was a certain lady standing like this another mm. one standing like this and the other one was pulling me that she wants to take me out out mm. of the what out of the pool mm. and this one also that she want to pull me out mm. now i don't know where to go then i told them that you people if you're all fighting for me let me get out alone mm. and they were like no you're not getting out alone mm. then they were fighting like that again the other one on the left came to the right mm. and like she started real fighting and mm. i was like uh -uh, if you're still fighting for me let me get out of the pool then mm. I went out. From there, I told my granny, I told my granny the dream. And she was like, don't you know dreams? Those are just dreams. Mm. Then I was like, it's okay. Then I stayed. Now I could stay alone like that. Anything that will happen to me, I don't tell anyone. Because I know if I'm to tell them, they don't believe me. Mm. I went to my auntie's place. Mm. I went to my auntie's place, mm. reaching there, I stayed there, then one day I dreamed that there is a certain man who came and told me that, my dear, I really want to be open to you today, mm. we were fooling you all the, all that time, mm. but now I want to be, <coughs> but now I want to be open, mm. then I was like, it's okay, you tell me what the problem is. Mm. She was having necklace, mm. 
she was having green she was having a lot of things yeah mm. pins what what that these are for you and then i was like who are you mm. and she told me that time will tell mm. and i was like i'm tired of that word you mm. always tell me the things but i don't understand the meaning mm. now you tell me who you are and a man was like, I will not sell you until the right time comes. Then I was like, then I don't want your things. Mm -hmm. He went with that thing, with those things. From there, I started feeling my stomach was paining me seriously. Mm -hmm. Then I woke up at night, my stomach was paining. I went and told my auntie and she gave me some medicine, some painkiller mm -hmm. I took. Then. I woke up in the morning, wasn't able to do anything, I wasn't able to mop. Mm. Then I was like, e -e, what's the problem? Mm. Now my stomach could paint every day. Mm. I used to tell everyone, but they don't believe me. Mm. They told me that I should first go to the hospital. I went to a certain clinic. They told me that there's some swelling in my stomach, they have to remove it to operate me. Mm. I called my friend, Patricia told me, no, don't even allow anyone to operate you. Mm. And I was like, now what will I do? I used to cry day and night, but mm. my family members, they really don't see my tears. Even if I cry, they just think I'm pretending mm. like that. Then I was like, one day she told me that, my friend told me that, you first go to that, you first go to some pastor to help you. Mm. Yeah, I went to a certain pastor. He was mm. even staying there next to my auntie's home. Mm. And he told me, no, like he came to fetch water at our home because mm. we're having a bar hall. Mm. He came to fetch water. Then I told him that mm. this and this are happening to me. I don't know why, what and what. And the man was like, you first come to my home. And I was like, okay, I will come in the evening. Mm. I went in the evening at around five. Mm. There was no one at home. The mm. wife, over the wife, went to the village, mm. plus the kids. So the man was staying alone, and the man was like, <coughs> "That we should pray." Mm. Yeah, indeed, I closed my eyes to pray. No, at first the man came with water in a glass two glass one was having water and one was empty <clears throat> and a man was like you first take this water i've already prayed for it mm. then i was like no let's first pray then i will take the water later when i'm now leaving mm. and he was like it's okay then he told me to close my eyes i closed my eyes and he was like give me your hands mm. indeed i gave him the hands i gave him my hands like this and he was holding my hands mm. Then for me, I was praying, and the man was even praying, but I wasn't concerning about his words, eh? the mm -hmm. words that he was saying. Mm -hmm. I was just there praying my own prayers. Mm -hmm. So I had, like, I had a glass falling down. Mm -hmm. Then I never opened my eyes to, to see you what see. is happening. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I continued praying. Mm -hmm. Again, I felt some pain. Then I was like, hey, here, here in my hand. Mm. It's even here. Mm. Yeah. The man cut my hand with that glass, with that broken glass. Mm. After feeling that pain, I was like, what is happening? Then I opened my eyes. Opening my eyes like this, I saw blood. Mm. My blood was there. And the blood was dropping in the other glass, which is having water. Mm. Then I was like, what is the meaning of this? Mm. And he told me that. No, let's just pray. This is over temptation, over what, what. Mm. I told him, no, let me just go home. I don't want your prayers now. Mm. And the man was like, what is the meaning of this? Let's just pray, what, what. Mm. Now, he told me that this is over what God has shown me that you should take. I tell the man also cut his hand plus mine. Mm. And he dropped all the blood in that in glass. That yeah. Mm. Now it was like I should take that water. Mm. He will even take it. Then I was like, what kind of pastor are you? Let mm. me go back home. Mm. And the man was like, you, you're not going back home if you have not ta without taking this water. Mm. 
Mm. Then I was like, okay, you first take it and you give me. The mm. man took the blood plus the water. Mm. Then he gave me. Then I poured the water on his face. Mm. I ran out. Mm. No. When I ran and the, the man is also having a gate. Mm. I want to open the gate and go out. The man came and told me that even if you've refused, I've already mixed the blood. So that is a covenant between me and you. Mm. <clears throat> there is nothing that is going to separate us over what was. You will not get married to any man. Mm. If you if you dare do it, you will run mad. What, what? Mm. <laughs> I was like, ah, those are your words. Let me go. Mm. Then I went home. And I never told anyone. My stomach continued paining like that. Mm. Then I told myself that I will never pray again. And I will never go to any pastor. Mm. <clears throat> I tell that man is also having a church. <laughs> mm. Then I was like, I will never go to any pastor. And, and that church is still there up now? Yeah, the church is there. But mm. now they don't pray in that church. It's mm. just there. Mm. Yeah. What, people, what happened to the church? I really don't know. But people can pray, but not you go to church and you find like three people, four, mm. mostly their kids and their wife are the one who are praying there. What about before? Before people used to pray, mm. but I even don't know what happened. But did, 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 did the people stop coming because of Corona or even after Corona? I think it is because of Corona because mm. ever since what happened to me I never went back there I mm. just left that I left my auntie's home and mm. I came back to this home where I'm staying and uh, your auntie's home is it within here? no it's not here it's within actually no it is not within here mm. yeah it's somehow deep deep there mm. yeah okay. so mm. now I came back home my stomach was ever paining like that. Mm. I told a certain auntie of mine that one I dreamt with her name. Mm. And she was like, I'm really tired of you. I don't know what you really want. What, mm. what? Then I was like, no, if you're tired of me, you just kill me and I die. That's mm. all. <laughs> and she was like, if your time come, you will die. I'm not the one to kill you. And I was like, mm, it's okay. Then I slept at night. Again, I started dreaming that a certain lady came with fish. Mm. I said, the fish is still alive. That daughter, I want you to kill for me this fish. For me, I fear. Then I was like, what? Kill it? Me, I can't kill that fish. You kill it. That now I'm very hungry. I've not eaten. So they've just given me this that I should cook it, but I can't kill it. You know, I'm too old. What, what? Mm. And I was like, no, me, I can't do it. <clears throat> then she was like, no, help me. <laughs> and the lady also gave me the, kni the knife. Mm. I even took the knife. Now I was putting the knife up like this. Mm. I wanted to kill the fish. The good thing, <laughs> while I was sleeping, the door was open. I never closed that door. Mm. <clears throat> so I think my auntie was passing, going mm. to the bathroom. Another auntie, not the other one. Mm. Not the one I dreamt with her name. <clears throat> mm. She was passing, going to the bathroom over. Mm. Then, <laughs> I don't know even how it happened, but she just saw me with a knife like this, sleeping. I just wanted to kill my own self. Mm. Then she came and slapped me. What are you trying to do? Mm. Opening my eyes, I saw my hand there with a the knife. Mm. Then I was like, hey, what is this? Mm. I was confused. I don't know what to do. Mm. I couldn't call any pastor because now what that pastor did to me. Has made you not trust anyone. Yes. I mm. was like, now what is the meaning of this? Now, my aunties and my granny, everyone, they were like, they should chase me away from there. For mm. me, I'm doing evil things, strange things only. What, what? Mm. And I was like, you people, I even don't know what happened. <laughs> and they were like, it's okay. 
now we are giving the last chance if you ever do anything or sit outside sitting anywhere and start talking alone you will see what we shall do mm. and then i was like now how will i stop it i don't know how it is happening mm. and they told me that it's okay for us we have already told you that we are giving you only one chance <clears throat> then i was like okay you mm. give me that chance then my uncle was like let me first go with her to kampala mm. i went to kampala i stayed there my stomach was over paining but now there was nothing i could do mm. could just sit i don't want to tell anyone then i told my uncle no i can't stay in kampala with you let me go back to granny because mm. i have to help granny also cooking and doing other things mm. <coughs> so without knowing that i was in pain then i was like it's okay no my uncle was like it's okay you go back and we came back to gulu mm. reaching gulu like this uh, uh, there was nothing i could do mm. i couldn't bend down what i was like now what is the meaning of this mm. then that night i dreamed that there's a certain lady who came and told me that she called me that queen mother Mm. Then I was like, when mother, what is the meaning? And she was like, you will really, you will understand when the right time comes. Mm. I told them, you people, I'm tired of your words. She told me that you should never get tired of us because mm. we are now your maids. I wasn't understanding. Now, mm. <clears throat> I I closed my eyes. I wanted to sleep, but sleep was not coming. I was very scared. Mm. Then I started hearing everywhere they were shouting. You'll understand when the right time comes. Everywhere. Like I put pillow on my ears, but I was still hearing. Mm. I was like, God, what will I do today? Mm. My ears were, I thought my, my head was going to burst. Mm. Then I was like, no. I wanted to go and call my my family members and I tell them what is happening but I know even if I'm to tell them they will they not will be not like accept. yes mm. <clears throat> and I was like ah let me die alone here I will not tell anyone mm. so I I stayed there mm, now I stayed like for some times again when mm. my stomach was paining like that mm. then again that it wasn't dreaming it was real mm. I was in the morning I was preparing tea mm. now for me when I'm preparing tea I'll put a cup here mm. again I will not find a cup I'll find it somewhere up I ask myself what is really happening but I put a, a certain barrel for sugar mm. and I was really looking for it for me I'm seeing it that it is up it was down my auntie came and she was like what are you looking for i was like i'm looking for this tin for sugar that mm. is it not here but for me i wasn't seeing it i was seeing it somewhere Dif different mm. and she went she she went and told my granny that <laughs> this girl is now running mad i don't know what the problem is they were like they would take me to mutabika what what mm. and i was like you people I don't know what is happening to me, but mm. still they don't believe me. I was like, it's okay. Mm. Now, I never finished preparing that I went and sleep because I wasn't understanding anything. Mm. Waking up, no, they wake me up to go and cook lunch. <laughs> I wake up to go and cook lunch. But I'm seeing like we are two in the kitchen. Someone is there helping me. Mm. I don't know who is that. I'm there talking to that person, help me with onion, what, what. No my family members they were even scared they don't know what is happening mm. but my auntie came another the other one i dreamed with her name mm. and she was like mm -hmm. she came to the kitchen she was like you will suffer and suffer until you give them what they want mm. i asked her what is that what you're telling me i'm not under that time i even faint because I wasn't understanding anything. The I, aunt you dreamt is on the side as well. Yes. Mm. I faint and I found myself just on the bed when they have already taken me to the bed. Now, when I woke up, I went and sat behind the house. Mm. 
I was crying, crying, crying. Mm. Then when I was crying, somebody came and wiped my tears. But I never saw the passion. Mm. I just found that dove wiped my tears. Then I was like, I couldn't call even God's name. I really don't want to listen to anything like God's name because of that man, the other pastor. Mm. Then I was like, who did this? And I'm hearing someone talking, but I'm not seeing the passion. That I'm the one. First, remember you are our queen mother. Mm. Then I was like, queen mother, I'm not your queen mother. Mm. That indeed you are our queen mother. So, what you, that what you have to do, mm. is to do what you, you give us, you just give us the chance, and mm. we shall explain what you wanted to know. Mm. Then I was like, I'm not tired. I've given you the chance now. You can explain everything and I understand what is happening to me. Mm. And she was like, it's okay. So you will be free now from today since you have given us the chance. Mm. And you will know who you are. You're someone who is very great and what, what. Mm. For me, I was just there listening to the words. Mm. Then I stayed, I cooked supper. After cooking supper, I went to the, I went to bed mm. before sleeping. Like, I just sat there. I tried opening the Bible, but I just threw the Bible away. Mm. I never read it. Then, closing my eyes like this, now I started seeing ladies. Eh, they were bringing for me watermelon bananas what what a lot of fruits mm. and food but from today onward you don't need to work mm. Rem <laughs> but remember you're carrying our what mm. our princess mm. you're pregnant with us mm. <laughs> i told them that who are you mm. Be strong, eh? You be strong. In Jesus' name, you must narrate all this story. Okay? In Jesus' name, you must narrate all this story. Be strong. Have faith, okay? You must live here when you've narrated all this. The devil has to come to shame. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, be strong. Okay? Mm -hmm. Be strong. Be strong. Yes, please. Yeah, and they told me that. Mm. I'm carrying their princess, but I'm now their queen mother. I'm pregnant with them. So if I see, if I see them. <laughs> Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Satan will rebuke you. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. Set her free. She must leave Fever FM after mentioning all that she has come to say. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Be strong, sister. Be strong, sister. Let us ashamed the devil today. Jesus' name. Be strong. Let us ashamed the devil today and say anything that is supposed to be said.
Almighty Father, we pray that you show your presence here. We pray that you come and you intervene in this war. In Jesus' name we pray that everything works out in the name of Jesus. We rebuke the devil. She denies the devil. We pray that you work out something in her life. She has to mention everything that is desired to ashamed the devil. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray that you intervene in this war. She has suffered enough. She has suffered enough. We rebuke you, the devil. Satan, leave this girl. In Jesus' name, go away. You have no power. You have no place in her life. In Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' name. We pray that you work out a miracle for her. She has to mention all that is necessary, all that is needed, whatever that has brought her here. Almighty Father, we pray that you show your presence. We pray that you take your place in her life. We pray that you be with her. We pray that you guide her in Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Today she has to leave when she has ashamed the devil. Everything that the devil has been doing in secret, Father. We pray that everything is mentioned here and right now. We rebuke the devil. <laughs> Satan, you have no place here. You have no place in her life. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray. Almighty Father, come and take up your place. Come and take up your place. In Jesus' name, Father. We pray. I want you to pray in your heart, please. You have to chase away the devil. You have to denounce it. You have to denounce it. You have to denounce it in Jesus' name, Father. Satan has to set you free. Satan has to set you free. Almighty Father, in Jesus' name we pray. Come and take up your place. Come and take up your place. We believe and trust in you, Jesus Christ. We believe and trust in you. By the time she lives today, she has to be set free. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you, Father. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. You need to denounce the devil. I know that you have lost hope. The devil has deceived you that there is no Jesus, there is no God. But I'm here to assure you, it is your faith that is going to heal you. Okay? Mm -hmm. It is your faith that is going to heal you. If without God, I don't think that you would be here. Okay? Mm. Trust and believe in Him. Seek His presence. I know that the devil has done all whatever it can to disrupt you. But I know in Jesus' name you're going to get a place. Mm. And from now, please, don't believe whatever the devil is telling you. You must start meditating and praying in your heart. Now and then, don't relax until when you set free. Hmm. Okay? Are you having some courage? Yes. Can we continue? Yeah. Amen. Thank you. Yes. Then 
they were telling me I have I'm pregnant with them and I'm carrying the princess I don't have to overwork and I have to eat fruits what they're giving me what what I was like I really don't want to eat anything of yours and I'm not pregnant with you you just leave me alone and they were like for us we have already told you since we are your maid we shall leave you anything that you will tell us is what we shall do and they went when they went a certain man came and he was like these are for you the necklace the gold pin a lot of things and i told him i don't want any of your things and it was just like that they were bringing me a lot of things for for some good times and i was like now what will i do who will help me then i went and told my uncle's wife and the lady was like you don't remember what they told you they told you that uh, you what you you're having some problem in your stomach there's some swelling they have to operate it so do things you're just imagining what what i told her it's okay because i thought she was the only one who is going to believe me mm -hmm. so then i was like since she's also not believing me no one will now believe me i have to get my own way something that will help me then they told me no then one day I called a certain friend of mine and she was like she will first call a certain pastor to pray for me mm -hmm. then she even told me that she has called a pastor and the pastor is going to pray and then I was like it's okay so I don't know whether the pastor prayed or not and from there that was second that second time I went back to school reaching school and students were like over no one day it was on Wednesday yeah it was on Wednesday I went to town because I was in boarding I went to town to buy some other things so when I reached there I found a certain man in the supermarket and a man bought for me what I even know the man mm. yeah I'm supposed to call him my uncle but not a close relative mm. then he bought for me um yogurt and I don't take milk then I couldn't refuse it I just get it I was like I will take this yogurt to school to my friends mm. then I went with it he bought three three things mm. then I went with it to school I gave them to my friends and I gave one to a certain girl and there is a certain girl also she sent me okay she was like if there's any balance you help me you buy for me daddies then I was like okay I bought the daddies for three thousand <coughs> reaching school I gave her the daddies and I bought biscuit some biscuit for seven thousand that biscuit I serve it to everyone in that class because we were few we were only 24 mm -hmm. <coughs> and the biscuit were many so i serve it to everyone in the class and they were like okay they ate the biscuit after eating i took the yoga to a certain girl i gave her after giving her she even never she took it but she never finished it mm -hmm. and i started feeling dizzy I was feeling dizzy and I wasn't understanding myself very well so I went to the I went to my bed to sleep but I never climb up because I used to sleep up I just faint there on the floor my friends they came when they found me when I was unconscious they they went 
telling others <laughs> do you know what you people those who have eaten her things this girl come under water and you're eating her things what what you die mm. now she want to initiate you what what eh? mm. and then I, when i woke up they returned my things mm. i was like he hey. then i was like brenda why are you returning these daddies and you told me to buy for you? that no i don't want you to eat it Mm. I was like it's okay. And the other one she went and poured the yogurt and I was annoyed. Mm. I told her that I carry all I carry this thing all the way from town up to here bringing it for you and this is what you're doing. Mm. It's okay. <clears throat> and they told me that we really know you very well. We know who you are and where you came from. <clears throat> so all the things you come with them under water what what Mm. Even some other girls who send me to buy for them things cuz that school is a single school. Mm. They send me to buy for them things what what. They return all the things and yet they gave me their own money. Mm. They return it what what. I was annoyed. I went and threw all the things. Mm. The juice, the bread what what. I was very annoyed. Mm. I threw them. Mm. And they were like I come under water. They went they were like they're going to tell the director that no I come under water what what mm. so now I told them you people if you are to tell the director you know very well that the director will just chase me away from school <coughs> mm. and you don't have any proof now how will you how will you be able to sit in school when I'm not in school how will you feel and they were like we don't care after all we don't want after all we shall stay with some we shall stay without you with if what what <coughs> i cried i cried then when i was crying i went behind the dorm and the director came that why are you cry I never told him anything. I just told him leave me alone and he was like, "Why are you crying? You first come and we go to my office." <coughs> mm -hmm. I was like, "No, I'm not coming. You leave me alone." Mm -hmm. And he was like, "You're the one who is talking to me in this manner. Can you come to my office?" I was like, "Okay, I will come." Mm -hmm. And I first went to dorm. And I went to dorm. I never went to director's office. and he even never sent anyone to come to call me to mm. come and called me then i was like oh, now for me i will just stay here i never wanted to go to class i never wanted to stay with anyone but i have some friends some girls mm. <coughs> they really used to love me mm. and there is a certain girl she used to pray and pray but she was like oh, I'm even tired of you. Every time if we are praying like if we are praying you always disturb our prayers when we want to finish the prayer for you you'll just fall down again we have to pray for you when we are hungry what what So I even I was like okay I will stop coming to church my stomach could pain every day but now I have nothing to do I told my friends those guys that one they believe me and they really believed but they had nothing to do then they called a certain pastor to come <clears throat> again the pastor came mm. but when the pastor came the man he started praying but like when he started praying me I went out I told him that I want to go and drink water mm. so he was like no they're going to bring water here <clears throat> So I just went out then I went to dorm and I sleep mm. and the pastor really pray from there then he was like it is not sand if the director is to come and find him that would be a problem he will come back and pray for me on Sunday and he went then before Sunday the director told us <coughs> No one should call any pastor to this school. We don't want those kind of prayers. Calling a man to come and pray for you in school without my permission. What what? And the pastor really never came to school on Sunday. Mm. And I was just there. I prayed alone. Those students they used to pray alone also. 
so it was like that then one day at night I went after bathing I came I wanted to go for prep then when I went to my bed I lie down like I wanted to rest like for five minutes then I go for prep mm -hmm. I had someone coming and then I was like who is that one opening my eyes there was no one if I close my eyes I will hear someone coming mm -hmm. then <clears throat> from there again I opened my eyes and I saw director and he was like after prep you first come to my office then I was like, I can't come to your office at night. I will come tomorrow in the morning. That no, I really want to talk to you. It is very important. What, what? Then I was like, okay. And he told me that, but come, remember to come alone. Then I was like, okay, I will come. Then I went. Then after prep, I told some girls. I was like, you people, you come with me, but you stand outside, let me go and enter alone. So they came. We went to the director's office. Reaching there, the man told me that. I told you that I always want you to be the, the heir to this school, but you don't want. Mm -hmm. And also that I'm going to give you something. Then I was like, what is that? You told me you first go and open that box. There was a certain box in, mm. on top of that table. Now me, I wanted to go and open that box like this. And those girls who were standing outside, they were peeping. They, want to, they also want to see what I was going to, uh, to, to, what to open. Then director saw them when they were peeping and director was like, who are those, what, what? And he was like, okay, you can now go and come back later. So mm. I went and I never came back. Mm. And again, at night I dreamed that he was like, what do you really want from me? Mm. Then I told him that you just wait and see how I will expose you. Mm. That's what I told him, that I will expose you. And he was like, you will try to expose me when it is too late. Right now it is already late. You can't expose me. There's nothing you can do. Then mm. I was like, wait and see. I'll expose you. But that thing for director is also different from from that thing for my stomach. Because mm. immediately after dreaming about that director, again I will start again my stomach will start paining what what. Then <clears throat> one day then after me telling the director that I'll expose you, he told me that, wait and see, you never expose me. Mm. Then I told my friends, I told those girls, those scripture union members, they were like, now we know what to do. We shall pray and pray on Sunday until you expose that man to everyone. <coughs> then I was like, yeah, that's what we should do. Then on Sunday, we really pray and pray and pray. But nothing happened mm. so again one day i fainted in class and there was a certain mat in that class then the mm. teacher the teacher who was in the class told told those guys that he just put her there on the mat because from school they thought i have asthma mm. and they brought a lot of blanket and they cover me mm, like that <clears throat> then from there after like I, I was down like for 10 minutes then what they told me that director came mm. and stood outside the classroom and was seeing what was happening from the window then the director was like who is that one and they told him and he went after the director went he went like this mm. he just went and picked the car and, and he went. So when he went, we tried, no. Now me, I, when I was waking up, I was calling his name. Mm. I was calling his name without knowing. I was just there shouting with his name, shouting with his name. Mm. No student came 
and that girl Patricia she came and started praying because I've already told her mm. she prayed and prayed and prayed and from there I started crying with Sophie's name and Brenda because those two girls plus me mm. those were the three girls I could see whenever I'm dreaming about Patricia mm. so that day I saw when I've already tied them some two men, those men that are having horns. Mm. I saw when they have tied those girls mm. and they wanted to kill them. That I'll be the one to what to help them. If I don't want to do what, if I, I really want to help them, I should not expose the director. Then I was like, now how will I help them? I started shouting with their name and calling director's name. I called all the three names. Mm. Then the teacher started calling director to come back and see what is happening to me mm. and director was like i'm already in over that side <laughs> some that was already somewhere heading to kampala that mm. i'm now going to kampala mm. i will not be able to come back mm. then now director was like you just take that girl back home mm. and that teacher was like no because that teacher was also a pastor mm. i tried telling him what happened what is happening mm. and he told me that he's also understanding what is happening mm. he will make sure that you do something but he even never did anything mm. so director was then the man was like Ooh we are going to take her to charge mm. that no 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 not from my school you just let her be there she will be fine mm. then uh, they even let me there and the girl was praying they left me there the girl was praying patricia and some other girls they were praying mm. so it was like that then um from there i went back home for all of these then that's when I came here. Yeah, mm. I came here mm. to favor because a certain girl gave me some pastor's number mm. that I should call him. I called him and he was like, you know, do things we can't pray when you're home, we can't pray through phone, what, what. Mm. That I should come here. Mm. And I came, he prayed, <laughs> then I went back home. Mm but he was even in a hurry he told me that he would pray from from his home mm. i should go back home and he will also be praying for me mm. so it was like that so i went back home mm. and the things for direct that he really stopped mm. but now the things of pregnancy mm. my stomach my stomach would pain then one day i told my auntie that for me i'm not going to mop the house I'm not going to do anything since you people you don't want to listen to any of my words mm. i will not do anything until i until you understand what i'm going through mm. that we really don't want to listen to your what just do what you're supposed to do and that's all mm. so i could do everything then one day i was mopping i was feeling dizzy when i when i bend down mm. and i get up i'll feel like i'm falling down so i went to a clinic mm. to buy some medicine and they gave me some medicine i took the medicine then i went to pour the remaining water outside mm. i just faint there and they took me inside and uh, the doctor was like over oh, she's having mm, that i'm having ulcers and mm. hepatitis b mm. then i was like they gave me a lot of medicine mm. but the medicine i just died in the house i never took the medicine because mm. me i know what was happening and i know what is happening to me mm. so that is it now the problem the mm. biggest problem that i have mm. i went one day again this year mm was this year over oh, which man yeah i went to charge mm. lifeline because i called pastor kijange mm. yeah i called him and he told me to go to charge 
I went to church mm. and he prayed for me. And that pastor, he really knows me because even one day they call him to pray for me from school mm. and he went and pray. Mm. But that was before the things of pregnancy. Mm. So he went and pray. <coughs> then from there, when I went to church and he prayed, Mm. He really prayed, but I went back home mm. and everything was fine mm. for some days. Mm. So, one day I was sitting mm. and there's a certain lady who came and told me, no, I was like, you're welcome. Mm. I told her that you're welcome. And she was like, mm. Thank you so much, my daughter. Let me just do it. Mm -hmm. Let me enter inside the house. That and is she, from home? Yes. And you not you don't know the person? I don't know. Mm -hmm. And she was like, where is your mother? Then mm -hmm. I was like, my mother, she's inside sleeping. Let me go and wake her up. Mm -hmm. and she was like, no, 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 let her sleep. I'll wait for her. Because mm -hmm. uh, I'm going to sleep here. But then I was like, it's okay. Mm -hmm. I went to I went to prepare for her tea. Mm. Then reaching there, she told me, she told me that when I went to prepare tea, she even followed me in the kitchen. Mm. And she was like, now, she was like, girl, you're a good girl, what, what? I was like, mm, thank you. And she was like, no, there's no need for you to, to prepare for me tea. Let me just go and do what, wait for her there. Mm. Then I was like, no, now let me go and wake her up and you talk to her. And she was like, no, you let her sleep. What, what? Then I was like, but now, at what time are you going to talk to her? That I told her that I'm going to sleep here. Mm. And I was like, it's okay. Then I left her there. I went to the kitchen to do my work. Mm. And the lady again came to the kitchen and she was like, she was like, mm -hmm. that for me, as you see me here, I don't have any daughter. And no one has ever called me mom. What, what? Daughter, do you really know the pain of being a, being a what, being a mother without a child? Then I was, then I was like, oh, sorry. Then I was like, ah. You can now come and stay here with us. Mm. And she was like, eh, even your aunties are wet. Let me first go and see her. <clears throat> then I was like, okay. Mm. But when she was getting out of the kitchen, she was like, she said, easy job. Then I was like, auntie, what did you say? Easy job? Mm. Then, no, no, no. I was talking alone here. What, what, you know, being old, what, what. Then she went. Mm. Reaching there, she was sitting in the sitting room. Then me, I, I, I took the tea to the sitting room, mm. and my aunt was also sitting there. But they were all not talking; they were just sitting. I told, then I was like, "Auntie, mm, like this one came in the morning when you were still sleeping, like this and this and this." What she told me, mm. and aunt was like. <laughs> My dear, I don't know what is your problem. Who am I talking about? Is there anyone? Then I was like, Auntie, I really not seeing this lady. Mm. She was like, There's no one. We were there arguing with her. Mm. <clears throat> and she told me that, Let me first go and let me sit on that chair where you saying that lady is sitting. Mm. He went and sat there. Now for me, I'm seeing like she went and sat on that lady. Mm. So I don't know. Then the lady was. And even the lady was talking, but I was the only one hearing. Mm. My, my auntie went and called my uncle, my granny, everyone. Mm. They were all there. Bambi, they really talked. And, and the lady was like, my daughter, I really don't understand what is wrong with your family members. Look at what your auntie did. And I was her best friend and she came and sat on me just like that to pretend to you that she's not seeing me. Mm. Ah, then I was like, <clears throat> then I was like, I'm sorry, you, you come and we go out, what, what? <laughs> I went on escorting her outside. Mm. And she was like, my job is now done. Because <laughs> I was holding her hand. Mm. 
Mm. She was like, my job is now done. She, when I was holding her hand, mm. when I left her hand, mm. I found some mark here. On your hand? Yeah. It was black. Mm. Then that mark, whenever I see that mark, when I, okay, I never saw it immediately. Mm. I went into the sitting room where people were arguing. Mm. Then I came back when I saw the mark. I, then I saw the mark like this. Mm. After seeing the mark, you remembered. I remembered that the lady, because when she was holding my hand, she was doing like this. Mm. Then I remembered. I was like, maybe she was, maybe she touched something that is mm. dirty over what. Then I tried washing it. It wasn't going away. Mm. I was like, God. <laughs> then. I went and showed a certain girl, and the girl was like, hmm, you girl, nowadays I don't know what your problem is. Mm. I told them, will anyone really believe me in this world? Mm. <laughs> she was like, of course no one will believe you mm. because of your madness. Mm. Then I was like, it's okay. <clears throat> mm. And I went, I tried washing the mark, but it wasn't going away. Mm. <clears throat> and then when then i went to the bed when i i opened my hands like this when i was seeing the mark like this my eyes were closing i was like what is this mm. i tried when i opened my eyes to see the mark mm. my eyes were closing then i opened my eyes by force mm. and i put this hand like this Mm. Then I started seeing my bed was full of <laughs> candles. Mm. There was a lot of candle. There was some dresses. Mm. They have already packed them. That ring, necklace, jewelry. There was a lot of things. Mm. I went on disorganizing the whole bed. Mm. Now, when I disorganized the whole bed, again I again i saw there was nothing i saw my the pillow and the bed sheet and mm. i dressed the bed again it was like that i was even running mad mm. then <clears throat> i slept i woke up i wasn't seeing for two hours mm. i was blind for two hours i tried shouting no one was listening to me mm. i tried everything no one was talking to me Mm. I was just there on the bed. My eyes were open. I, I was even touching like this. It was open, but mm. I wasn't seeing anything. I was seeing only darkness. Then I, I was like, Jesus. That's what I said. Mm. That Jesus. Then I started seeing some people who were swimming. Mm. They were swimming and they were trying to pull me. I was refusing. I was refusing. Mm. So now for me, I have no one to tell. Mm. I could just stay like that. So now the problem, mm. there's a certain big lady, she's very fat. Mm. And she came telling me, my daughter, you will really suffer with that pregnancy of ours. Since you don't want to accept us, mm. you will suffer. We shall give you some good times before, before taking you, uh, like before bringing you to us. Mm. You'll first suffer in that poor while of yours. Mm. Then you'll come back to us when you've suffered, when you know what we were talking about. Mm. So from there, my stomach was paining. I came, I started vomiting something very black. Mm. It was black. It was black and black. Mm. Then my auntie came that no what is that i told her i don't know that's why i told you every day that may have a problem but you don't want to listen to me <coughs> mm. and she was like problem that is just the beginning mm. <laughs> that's what she told me then i was like it's okay let it be the beginning but for me i know it is the end mm. my uncle was coming and she went Again, she came back. Hey, what is wrong with you? Should we take you to the hospital? What, what? Mm. I was like, I don't want. They mm. were 
like that. So now my stomach can pain nowadays. Mm. But I don't know. I I told my granny. Mm. She told me that me I don't want to take medicine. Mm. So that is it. And um, Brenda, mm. you know Brenda, right? Mm. The other Brenda who came here last time. Mm. Yeah. She told me that you first got to fever and yeah, like that and they will tell at least they will help you at what. Mm. Then I was like, it's okay. Mm. Okay, I first of all I want to thank God for allowing you to to complete this. Because the way I had seen the way things have started changing, I think the devil never wanted you to complain. Mm. I thank God for that. Two, I also want to appreciate you for the courage that you are taking to ensure that you expose the devil. You're really fighting, but you're fighting a fight alone. Mm. And remember that God intervenes in every situation as long as you call him but you have been like uh, uh, i could say blindfolded because of the situations that have happened mm. the devil really tried to make you not to believe the truth but i'm happy that at least you've tried your best to ensure that you fight and you also reach here now i don't know um how old are you i'm 16. you're 16. yeah and this situation has taken how long if you're to calculate mm. actually it is like because before when i was when i just joined senior one mm. that thing it started since when 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 you how, since how when i was born since when you were born mm. but in those days i just used to faint as i told you mm. they used to think i have asthma mm. so reaching senior one i was i was 14 years mm. and they were like because those students when they used to pray mm. when i woke up that's they used to tell me what was happening and they told me that mm. these demons they are saying they have started working with you since they have worked with you for 14 years mm. so there is no way they can leave you now because mm. they have worked with you for 14 years mm. now reaching 15 years like that mm. so me i started knowing it when i was in senior one mm. yeah i used not to know okay well, what about your parents because according to the way you have narrated yes. it's like you're not staying with your mother you're not staying with your dad but you're staying with your aunties uncles tell us something what is the problem the biggest problem is mm. even me myself i don't know my parents you don't know your parents yeah okay and i even don't know the truth about my parents mm. i really don't know what happened to them and mm. I don't know whether they are alive or not mm. but what they told me mm. is that my mom is alive mm. but my daddy is not alive mm. again they're telling okay it's like they're confusing me mm. again someone is telling me that both of my parents are not there mm. so that my parents left me when I was six years mm. Uh, again, they are telling me that they have just adopted me mm. when I was six months. Mm. Okay, now, now that one makes me ask you, what do you think? Um, do, if it is an adoption, do you think you, you think you have the blood from Northern Uganda or from anywhere else? Just yeah, according to how you feel yeah i think i have a blood of northern uganda and you 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 think maybe your dad or your mom could be an actually yes okay have you tried to find out the roots that at least in itinya patero 
Tia, um, Kitgum, um, uh, wherever, according to the little knowledge that you have? No, not mm. actually. Mm. But now the problem is with people at home. Mm. Okay. For me, as I know, because mm. my granny, actually she's not my granny, but she's now my granny. Because you're staying with her. Yeah. And you've stayed with her for a long time. Mm. Mm. She told me, my my mother mm. gave birth to me. And, okay, like she just, when she was pregnant, mm. she came back home with the pregnancy without knowing who the father of the baby was. Mm. Like, for them, eh, those mm. people at home, they never knew. Mm. Yeah, the owner of the pregnancy. She gave birth from home. But after her giving birth, she just mm. she went with another man mm. like that. So she left me when I was over two years. So now me, I really don't know what the truth is. Yeah. And I'm not thinking of what the truth is. I don't want to know. Yeah, but what you want is to be free. Yes. From all what is happening to you. Yeah. Okay. Now my question is, you said at one point in time, you really accepted Jesus as your personal savior, and all the things happened and you were blindfolded and so on. What about now? Yes. Now, mm. what I know is, okay, I've accepted Jesus. Mm. And at first my dream was to be a pastor. Mm. But I know I'll even fulfill it. Mm. And the problem, okay, it was a problem, but now it's not a problem. Because mm. from home, they really don't believe the things of born again, what, what. Mm. So, but now it's not a problem to me. Because mm. I know they will not know. Of course, now I'll do what I want to do. Mm. Like, if I want, if I want to pray, I'll pray what what. Mm. But I really want to, mm, to get born again. Mm. Yeah, because that one. At first, I used to pray when I was still with my great grandmother. Mm. But now reaching this granny of mine, it is a problem. Mm. All will be well. I just have that feeling. Mm. You're going to be fine. Yes. Do you have the hope? Yeah, you have I the hope. do. Okay. One thing that I, I believe is that hope will move you an extra mile. And having faith will even make everything work out for you. Mm. Okay? Yeah. So meaning you have really to trust God with all your might, with all your heart and your mind. Mm. According to the Bible, whatever that is, hold against the Lord who really is not prosper. Okay? Mm. So meaning that the devil is just joking. And if you want to prove that, is to increase your faith in Christ. Mm. You have to increase the way you pray, ceasingly, as in unceasingly. Mm. If you have been praying once, you have to double that. Now, I wanted to know, what time of the night do you really sometimes get these dreams? Or when do you think the, these attacks come? At around two. Around two? Yeah. Okay. Do you mind ensuring that by that time you are also awake and praying? That the moment you know that that is the time and it is almost. Mm. Do you have a Bible? Mm, I had a Bible, but mm. I went to Kampala. I came back, I found and I have burned them. And they have burned them? Yeah. 
that they were burning some papers. So I don't know mm. how the Bible entered there. Okay. Yes. Yes. So you need to get a Bible. Let me pray that at least I'll land on one. You need to to target those hours. Okay. When you wake up in the morning, don't leave your bed without praying. Mm. Entrust your life to God and let him guide you. Let him give you that protection. Okay? Mm. Maybe then at midday, pray. In the evening, say a word of prayer. Okay? Mm. You may not say it in words, maybe because you might be fearing others, but you can even pray in your heart. Mm. At around two, the time when you know that these attacks come, the devil is coming, that is the time you hold your weapon, and your weapon is Jesus Christ and the Bible. Mm. You pray unceasingly until when you really feel that you're free and the devil is away. Mm. Okay? Mm. And I'm very sure that everything is going to be fine in Jesus' name. Okay? Mm -hmm. So, for more prayers, I want you to be patient with me. Let me try to get pastor. But I will give you also some numbers for pastors that you can always connect with and pray. Prayer means a lot. Things will always work out. Okay? Almighty Father. <coughs> Almighty Father, don't abandon your daughter. Almighty Father, don't abandon your daughter. In Jesus' name, she needs you. Almighty Father, come in and take control. Almighty Father, come in and then take control. In Jesus' name, Satan, leave this body. Leave it once and for all. In Jesus' name, this body is for Jesus Christ. It's for God, the Almighty, the King of Kings, and the Lord of Lords. Almighty Father, show your presence. Almighty Father, intervene and take over. Take over the control in Jesus' name, Father. Come and then take control. Come and then manifest in her life in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, Almighty Father, in Jesus' name I pray. Satan, you don't have any powers to be in this body. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, come and take control in Jesus' name. Father, show your presence. King of kings, the Lord of lords, in Jesus' name, Father. I know that you have done it. I know that you'll always be there. We pray that you come in in Jesus' name and take control. Father, this is a time that your daughter needs you. This is a time that she needs you. In Jesus' name, Father, come and take control. Come and take control. Come and manifest in her life. In Jesus' name. Satan, I rebuke you. Go out of her life. Go out of her life. Leave her alone. Leave her in Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Father, come and take control. Come and manifest in her life. In Jesus' name. Heal her of all the circumstances, all the situations that Satan is passing her through. In Jesus' name, I pray that she's going to be fine. Father, you have never let me down. You have never let your people down. In Jesus' name, Father, we pray that you come in and take control. We pray that you manifest in her life. In Jesus' name, Father. Almighty Father. Almighty Father. Jesus, come and take control. This is your daughter. This is your daughter, Father. Come and take control. In Jesus' name, Father. We pray that everything works out. Almighty Father, come and take control. Come and take control. Come and take control. Satan, leave this body. Leave this body. Leave the stomach alone. Leave the stomach alone. We rebuke you in Jesus' name. I rebuke you in Jesus' name. Leave the body. Let go of us. Leave the body. Let go of us. Leave the body in Jesus' name. Almighty Father, come in. Father, come and take control. In Jesus' name. Let go of us. Leave. Leave. This is not your body. 
Satan, leave. Leave this body in Jesus' name. Leave this body in Jesus' name. Leave the body. Almighty Father, Jesus Christ, show you manifestation here. Take control of this body. Take control of baby. Go away. Jesus name. Go away. In Jesus' name, Father. In Jesus' name, Father. Leave her alone. Jesus, take control. <laughs> Almighty Father, no weapon is always held against you and it will prosper, Father. This is a moment that you need to show your presence, Father. Let her live to praise your name. In Jesus' name, Father. Leave. Satan, go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. Go away. In Jesus' name, Father. Go away. Never to come back. Never to come back. Satan, go away. Never to come back. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you, Father. Please don't abandon Jesus, okay? Mm. He loves you. Okay? Okay. He loves you. I know this is not the end, but it is the beginning okay. of your success. Okay? Mm. It is the beginning of your prosperity. It is the beginning of Lord's power, Jesus' power to manifest in your life. Whatever that you want to be in the future is going to be. But it all begins with you. Okay? It all begins in you. You have to have the faith. Let it come from your heart. Okay? Okay. Let it come from your heart. Everything is going to be fine. And all is well in Jesus' name. Okay? Don't abandon the Lord. God loves you so much. And that is why you're still present up to today. Okay? How do you feel? Fine. All will be okay. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for her life. Thank you for everything that you've done. We pray that you continue to be with her. With her. Almighty Father, we pray that you guide her. As she leaves this place, Father, we pray that you be with her. We pray that you guide her as she's going home. Bring her her protection. Guide with her. Show her the way. Let her not be close. Be with her. Protect her even when she's at home, in the sitting room, in the bedroom. The mighty Father, we pray that you show her the light, the glory, the might. Father, I know that you're able to do everything in this world. What I know is what you only need is trust and faith. And I know that your daughter, my sister, she has come here because of the faith she has in you. She's in search for you. She's in love with you. She's looking for you. She's looking for the truth. She wants you. And this is the moment, Father, that you need to show her the way. Open her way. Open your gates, Father. Let her know that you're there. You lived before. And you're going to live again. Now and forever. I know that you will not leave her. You're not going to let her down, Father. And what I know is, you're always there with her. It is just that she didn't know. But this is the moment that you need to show that you can do something. That you can change her life from how miserable it is 
to something better. I know that you planned her future. You've arranged a lot of things in her life, Father. I hand her to you. I give her to you. Father, guide her. Protect her. Be with her. Now and forever. Every day. Every time. She needs you. As she lives to tell of the story about you, Father. As she lives to teach the word, to preach to the people about what you've done in her life. Let her life be a testimony. Something that she can also glorify that you did for her. In Jesus' name, Father. I know that you've already done it. I know and believe that her life is in safe hands. In Jesus' name, Father. Thank you. Amen. Amen. Now, my sister, I know that a lot might happen, but please, as I've told you, from now, you need to pray them much more stronger, okay? Mm. Do not stop here. If possible, even go praying on your way, mm. okay? Move while you're praying. Reach home as you pray. Mm. Do you know how to sing? Yes. Do you know some gospel songs? Yeah. If you really see that you're running out of the spirit and you really feel there is nothing much, Try to sing something. There is power in the gospel. There is power in the worship. Sometimes you may not just pray, but you might pray in terms of singing. Mm. Okay? You might pray in terms of singing. Do you have access to a phone? You don't have. Mm. But still, I know that if you know some songs, you'd always try to meditate upon. Because why I was asking for that, because I have a feeling that if you have a memory card, you'd have some like worship songs inside and you can just put the songs keep on shaping you towards Christ. And the devil will have no way of interfering with you. Okay? Mm -hmm. The devil will have no way of interfering with you because you are focusing yourself into Christ and you're listening to music, you're watching godly things, you're listening to godly things, there is no way he's going to come and interfere with you. Even the people that you associate with for now, mm -hmm. try to limit them because sometimes it is the only way that Satan is using to come back to your life. Okay? So meaning that even those ones that you meet, if you really don't trust those strangers, please. Mm -hmm. And even if someone commands you and tells you to do something and you really doubt that person, first pray. Because I'm very sure that all the connections that you've been having, you've tried to move away from the devil, but the devil has always found ways, like from the supermarket, like from, from, from one of the churches that you went to, from the friends, he can change himself, manifest his face in form of your friends. Mm. And he has always interfered with you. Okay? Mm. So keep praying unceasingly. Okay? And we pray that everything works out in Jesus' name. Mm. Say amen. Amen. Okay? Do you have any question for me? No. I don't have. And do you believe that everything is fine in Jesus' name? Yes. Do you believe that you're healed? Yeah. And do you believe that your future is great? Yeah, is bright? I do. Yeah. Okay? Mm -hmm. Maintain that trust and faith. Okay? Mm. All is going to be okay. Now there is another thing that I wanted to remind you. When you're praying, mm. try to rebuke the devil away in your life. Don't just pray. Mm. I get it. Mm. Don't just pray, but try.
try to pray while you are rebuking the devil. Denounce him. Denounce those people who come and disturb you in your sleep. Okay? Yeah. You don't belong to them. You belong to Jesus Christ. Okay? Okay. And then, if you have anything in the house that is unusual, that you don't trust where it came from, pray. If it means living, it leave. Because the reason why I'm saying this, there are material things that the devil can use. Mm. And for you, you don't know. And whenever you have that thing holding it, the devil has access in your life. Yeah. Sometimes it could be a cloth. Sometimes it could be bangles, just like the way you said. Mm. Sometimes it could be a bracelet, necklace. Mm. You have to watch out. Even when you're buying, pray for them. Because sometimes the devil can come with pretending to be a hawker. Mm. And they sell them to you. Mm. And they have access in your life. Pray. Okay? Okay. Otherwise, I don't appreciate you for coming. Now that you don't have a phone, how are we going to link up? How will I know that God is doing something good in your life? How are we going to be praying? I'll be calling when I get a phone. Okay. Like I'll, I'll use people's phone to call. Okay. Mm. That's fine. Now what I'm going to do, I'm also going to give you pastor's numbers. Mm. At least once in a while, you call and then pray. Mm. And uh, we've talked English throughout. I hope you understand the word. Mm? Yeah. Okay. So I will give you the numbers and then you will always be able to interact with them and pray. Mm. Anything unusual, please call me. Mm. Okay? Mm. Anything unusual, please call me. Okay. Yeah, you update me and then you tell me that, ah, Robert, it is like this. Mm. Okay? Okay. But please don't forget to pray. Mm. Okay? okay? Don't forget to pray. If you have access to worship, listen. If you can sing, sing mm. that will distract the devil mm. okay okay and don't forget the times that they come it should get you when you're praying mm. okay mm. and praying powerful because they also come with power but it is all about your faith mm. believe that 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 time god is present okay mm. believe that at that time god is present this is the reason why I'm telling you right now. We've rebuked the devil right now from here. But you need to pray so that it doesn't come back. Mm. Maybe you might, you might just leave the gate, takes that advantage. So you need to pray. Mm. Okay? But okay. I believe you're going to be fine. Mm. Okay? 